guys Ben here and welcome back to another video on the flash season 5 today we're going to be doing my breakdown for the new photos for episode 21 titled the girl with the red lightning so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year alright so sorry for not having a video yesterday this should have went out but I was super busy and I couldn't make a video also I should be having a supergirl video out probably in the next few days or so as we head towards the next episode because we've got some other interesting news to do with Red Daughter but that's just a quick announcement so I'm very excited for this episode mainly because of the title you know it's so intriguing the girl with the red lightning will we see any ramifications from her that being Nora actually using the negative speed force what do you think is going to happen so let's get into this video and break down these photos for episode 21 so this is actually the penultimate episode just to point out just in case you thought maybe it's 23 episodes i've mentioned this a bunch of times on the channel but yeah this season is going to be only 22 episodes so we've only got two episodes left which is really really crazy but I'm looking forward to these last few episodes because obviously we had the promise of Reverse Flash and what is happening with Nora, like they're going to wrap it up or continue it on towards Crisis next season and I'm so intrigued. But also, as you know, I love cliffhangers, I love some mystery and I really hope they set up the idea of maybe Red Death coming next season or whatever cliffhanger they're going to do, I'm really excited for that because normally they blow your mind and you know last season we had Nora turning up at the end being like I am Nora your daughter from the future and I freaked the fuck out and everyone did online so I really hope we get an amazing ending but anyway let's stop rambling and get right into this so the first photo we see is of this bench and this bench has been blasted through it's been knocked over so it's essentially a crime scene because Barry has got some gloves on and the like his CSI gloves and it looks like there's tape on the floor. In the background, you see Cisco and Ralph. And in the foreground, Nora and Barry are doing their thing, their CSI thing. It seems like some person, probably Cicada, has blasted through here. And it may be to do with some of the later photos to do with Sherlock and his wife or his potential new wife. And so we go on to the next photo and we see Barry, Cisco, Ralph and Nora all standing together and it seems like Cisco is revealing some sort of information because he's pointing his finger and Barry has got his head down so it seems like they've done something wrong or maybe Nora's done something wrong because you know he's pointing towards Nora but it seems like he has some sort of answer. I have no idea what it is but maybe probably to do with whatever happened at that bench. Alright so we go on to the next photo, we have the West Allen family, and so they're all there, they're looking together, nothing too much, but we move on to the next photo, we have a face of shock on Barry, as he looks upon Cisco, and I can't really make out where they are, but it doesn't seem to be anywhere that we're familiar with from the background, but like I said earlier, I think due to what we saw from some behind the scenes photos, and where they are sitting, it seems like she's been attacked, and that being... Sherlock's wife Renee I do believe you can correct me if I'm wrong but you know she's only appeared a couple of times and she's sort of been a bit forgot about in the past few episodes you know for a while we haven't really seen her but we've mentioned her a couple of times here and there but anyway so the reason why I think maybe the bench thing is to do with what is happening here it seems like she's got like an extra coat on it seems like with her water bottle it seems like maybe she's been attacked and it just seems to be like the aftermath of what's just happened and Sherlock seems to be comforting her because if you've seen the behind the scenes photos you know at the steps Cicada is actually around there so that's one reason why it's led me to believe that maybe Rene is attacked because you know she's a meta that was a big thing earlier in this season so Sherlock's gonna have to try and help her in some way Alright, so let's move on to the next photo. So we got Barry and he's in some sort of lab and I'm not sure what lab it is. It could be a lab we know, it could be a lab we don't know, I have no idea. But anyway, so he's in his suit and we go on to the next shot again in the lab. Just a really nice photo, a nice couple of photos, it doesn't give too much away but it's just interesting and nice to see the flash suit. And also in this photo, he looks really cool with the suit on. It's just like sometimes in the show at the moment without you know the chin strap he sometimes looks a bit weird and that's not just me thinking that because so many online agree we need the chin strap back 
and lots of people like I've seen Eric actually tweet about this this is Eric reloaded you could check out his channel because he does amazing content but anyway so he was tweeting about it on Twitter being like do you think the chin straps gonna come back next season or do you think he's gonna get a new suit and in my opinion I really hope he gets a chin strap and I hope he gets a new suit because I'm not a fan of this new suit it's way too simple it's just really really bland and it doesn't work without the chin strap but saying that like I said this photo looks really cool and I think it works from this angle but yeah I really do hope they're gonna get a new suit next season do you guys think because there's been a lot of backlash to this new suit so I reckon they will at some point alright so moving on to the next photo we have them all in the speedster lab and there's Iris, Nora and Barry and they're all talking together. Not sure what context these couple of photos are because we have this photo from another angle with Nora looking at Barry. So it seems like this is maybe quite early on or towards the end of the episode because as you know from the trailer we had that shot of Nora and she's lying essentially in Barry's arms so this could be after maybe they saved her whatever was happening to her but we know something major is going to happen to her in the finale I don't think she's going to die I'm not sure if she's going to go away I think there's a high chance that maybe she does stay but I think also there's a high chance that she actually goes away so I think there's like 50 50 right now because as you know she's working with reverse flash and if they don't go forward with their plan if they aren't able to say barry and crisis changes because of the timeline changes to 2019 as it's going to do we can expect nora to stick around that makes so much sense and i hope she does but yeah so i'm not sure what's going on right here but it seems like it's either before or after what we saw in the trailer we see this shot right here and this is in the same place barry and iris have got faces of shock you know their eyes are popping out and yeah they're seeing what we're seeing in this next photo and this is with Nora and Nora is using the device I forgot its name but the cerebral inhibitor I think it is actually but you know correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but this is an amazing photo you see blood dripping out of Nora's nose and she's got it on her forehead and she just looks hella spooky. She looks like she's seen a ghost or something. But we've seen a similar thing to this earlier in the season to do with Nora going into Cicada's mind. But that was due to another way that they actually got in. And I believe this is probably what they're doing in order to try and tap in and maybe find Cicada. To that is, or Shikada, whatever you want to call her. And I, I think it's definitely to do with that. And maybe that's the reason why she actually... In the trailer starts freaking out and she's knocked out because of this and you see this sort of lines up with her having the blood out of her nose but in the trailer she doesn't have the cerebral inhibitor or whatever the device is on her so it may be different scenes I'm not sure we have to wait but let's move on to this next photo and this next photo we see Barry Nora and Iris once again and Nora doesn't have the blood coming out of her nose so maybe this is after they've wiped it off or something like that and she's got the device on her head still so looking forward to this a lot because I'm very curious because the photos are very very intriguing alright so the last photo is of the West Allen family once again in the speed lab and this is just a nice photo nothing much to break down here but anyway so just before we end this video the title of the episode episode 21 is titled the girl with the red lightning and I think that's so intriguing because like I've said many times I mentioned this in my trailer video the idea of her still having perhaps ramifications of the negative speed force because we know at the end of last episode she actually doesn't have it inside of her or she's not tapping into it and it seems like there is some sort of ramification because why would the title be the girl with the red lightning if she doesn't have red lightning or there is no effect from the red lightning in the episode so I'm definitely expecting some backlash to do with reverse flash and maybe that plays into him in the finale because spoiler alert click off right now if you don't want to be spoiled but we know reverse flash is returning to present day in the finale he gets out of the prison and he somehow does that and something happens to Nora because we've seen from behind the scenes photos from Canada Grass and various other sources she goes to attack reverse flash in present day and she looks at her hands she stumbles back and it's in a very 
very similar way to perhaps how Reverse Flash in Season 1 in the finale actually got a race. So is she getting a race right here? I think there's a chance she might be getting a race, but another theory we had and I think it's very interesting is maybe Reverse Flash is harnessing her negative speed force still with inside of her and actually taking it out, literally, for his power. Maybe that was part of his plan all along. But we know there is some sort of nefarious overarching plan with Reverse Flash. We just don't know it yet. But Iris and everyone have definitely suspected it, as they mentioned many times in the past few episodes, that Nora has been manipulated, but we don't know how. And also it's interesting to think they're actually going through with Reverse Flash's plan to use the device, that gun that they got last episode, to actually destroy the dagger. And also, it's weird, he's so adamant about destroying the dagger rather than killing her or getting rid of him, as we thought he was just going to be the whole time, we thought it would just be the normal version of Cicada. So I think there is some sort of manipulation right there. But Thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos as we head towards the Flash's season 5 finale, I'm super excited, so stick around actually in the summer so turn on notifications you won't miss any videos, I'm going to be making videos all summer long so you won't be missing out on much, so I'll see you guys later, goodbye.